Bill Bradley, registered dietitian. table I have a little bit of the herbs there is in the mountains of Crete there is a variety of about a thousand different herbs that grow uh, botanologists from all over the world come to Crete to pick them and take them back to the countries and create aromatic oils medicine Hippocrates the father of medicine used a lot of these herbs for medicine they still use it today they recognize very much now uh, also amazing herbal tea that we drink in Crete a lot and I'll start with the first one I start with chamomile. Chamomile is uh, a herb that grows in springtime. You see, that, you see most of them are, uh, are dry for the reason that you don't find them every season. Uh, chamomile grows in springtime. If you come to Crete in spring, uh, Crete is full of chamomile. It's everywhere, it's very aromatic, and that's why we pick it and we have it dry for the year. Chamomile is an amazing calming share for older people, but also for babies and kids because it comes the stomach aches, colics for babies, so it's used, it's used a lot. It's an amazing share. Uh, you can um, wash your face, your eyes, it's an antiseptic, it's good for your share. Also in older creed they boil it with olive oil and they kept that, o that oil uh, because uh, chamomile will uh, bring all the... Um, infusions of the goodness of the chamomile. So the oil is good for allergies, it's good for baby skin, it's good for um, the rashes of babies and all. And of course, um, uh, that's why now if you see a lot of baby products and all soaps, shampoos and soaps, they is used a lot even today. It's a very aromatic tea also with honey or plain. And this is the amazing dictamus of Crete. Dictamus, you can see it, you can smell it and see it and uh, feel it. Mm. Dictamus grows only in the mountains of Crete. It's an amazing sherb. It has amazing healing properties. Uh, it's used a lot uh, in Crete for tea. Uh, also, it helps wounds. Uh, it's good for ulcers. Um, the older generations, they used it a lot because it will, it will heal your stomach when you have stomach aches, when you don't feel good, it heals headaches, and also uh, it's very digestive. And they also call it the tea of love for the beautiful flower that it has. And they say because it grows on steep hills and high mountains, they say if the man goes to pick that up for his wife, it's out of love. So they also call it that. And the older uh, generations of Crete, they also believe it was an aphrodisiac. This, uh, this where you have here is lemon verbena. It's an amazing lemony taste leaf, which we use a lot in cooking and baking because of the aroma of, of the lemon. It's amazing to marinate meat or fish with uh, Luisa. And uh, of course, it's a very, um, uh, it's a tea full of antioxidants, so it's very good for us. And here we have St. John's wort. It's one type of St. John's wort that grows in Crete. We call it balsam uh, Balsam means something that really makes you feel better, and horto is, a, in general, a plant. So that's what it's called in Greece. Of course, um, they use it today a lot uh, for depression, for pills, but also for depression and diseases of the skin, like um, eczema and pimples and redness, allergies. It's, uh, it's used a lot. In Crito, what we did to get all the healing properties out of this, we put it in, olive, in a big jar with olive oil. We put a lot of the plant fresh when we pick it, and we leave it in the sun for about 40 days. Uh, to get to infuse all the goodness, and then we save that oil and we use it for the diseases of the skin. Uh, this is what we call pine herb or comb, comb leaves. It looks like little combs. And this is will heal uh, your kidneys. If you have kidney stones, it will help reduce this, uh, the kidney stones. But also, it's good to drink. Uh, they're also very preventive preventive of diseases 
and it's good for your body and they're full of antioxidants. And this is the amazing mountain tea of Crete, along with wild marjoram. We put it together to make a tea because it blends well. And this is good for colds, for flu, for sherix, for sore throat. It, it has amazing healing properties and it makes you feel better when you drink a tea like this when you don't feel well. Also marjoram we use for cooking, amazing with uh, potatoes and vegetables, uh, baked vegetables, baked potatoes with meat and fish. And it's a really, uh, it's a breakfast tip here in Crete. With honey or plain, of course. And this is a wild thyme of Crete. I have uh, some also here. Thyme, it's uh, an amazing aroma. We use it a lot for cooking. And you can marinate your meat and your fish, so you put it in uh, bottles with olive oil to get the aroma and use it for salads. Uh, also, that's why the bees love thyme and they get all the goodness and the aromas. That's why you have the famous Cretan thyme honey. Also, a thyme is good if you boil it in your house and you're sick and you have a uh, stuffed nose and all, it will really clear you up and uh, the house will smell amazing. But also, if you have a very bad chest cough and cold and you boil it with honey, it will really make you feel better because they use this a lot in cough syrups. And this is the wild sage of Crete, another aromatic herb that we use a lot for cooking uh, and also uh, for pork dishes and for lamb dishes. But also, uh, it's an amazing healthy tea. It has a bit of a bitter taste, but it's really, really good for, for us. Um, makes you feel better. The guts, the older, the myth says that the guts thought this was the help of, uh, to help them live longer lives and grow to be a hundred years. Like a lot of people live here on Crete to be a hundred years old. It's all because of the olive oil, the herbs, the wild green, uh, the wild greens, but also the less stressful life uh, living in the mountains and and uh, doing all of that uh, every day, it's a lot of, uh, it keeps your health a lot better. And of course, the older generations of Crete, they say that uh, in the mornings they had a sat of olive oil along with the herbs and the raki mm -hmm. and the red wine, which seals your heart and makes you feel better. And this is the amazing oregano of the mountains. We pick this from the mountains. I pick this myself. Uh, it's very aromatic. You can smell it. We use it a lot for cooking, to marinate meat, fish, but also for salads. Uh, we use it in sauces, sausages, hamburgers. Uh, it, it gives an amazing taste to many dishes. It sends the taste completely. Even on top of French fries is good. This is fennel seeds. We have a lot of fennel growing in Crete, but those are the seeds. The seeds of fennels are used to flavor bread and uh, rasks and also uh, savory cookies. Uh, it's an amazing antiseptic. We flavor ouzo with this. We put it in our, um, we put it in a lot of our sweets. We boil it and put the water in our desserts to give the aroma. And also we grind it and we put it in bread. But we also can boil it and use it as a tea which is a very digestive tea. In many countries and many people, they will eat seeds before dinner and after. Uh, also, it's uh, in older times where they did not have antiseptics, it's an amazing antiseptic. And also they say when moms breastfeed, it has, uh, and they drink uh, tea out of fennel, will bring more milk for the babies. So it's also an amazing share. And here we have a mix of uh, a bowl with mixed herbs that I put together. And I also made a tea out of this for you to try. So you can also try one of, of the teas. So you get the goodness of a lot of the herbs together. And you can come and have some. And or you can also have it plain or, or with honey. Sandy, Christine, help yourselves. And what are the herbs in this one? The herbs are uh, sage, uh, Louisa, uh, marjoram, uh, wild uh, mint, mm -hmm. uh, mountain tea, uh, chamomile, echinacea. It's many herbs together. 